Yours very truly, Donna Ruggles. There, now I'm all ready to read it. Do I want to read it today? Oh, no, I will. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is the argument? Donna won't let me read the letter to Santa Claus. Oh? Well, now you uh, you wrote that letter together, didn't you? Yes, Daddy. Well, then you can both read it together to me. So I'll tell you, Donna, you start, and Donald, you butt in any time okay. you want. Okay. All right, sit okay. down there. Let's hear what you've written. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, dear Santa Claus. Yeah, uh, dear Santa Claus. Um, we know that with all the kids in the world, it must be very hard for you to keep track of who's been good and who's been bad. And so we thought we'd help you out. We're going to tell you. Uh Uh-huh. Nana has been a very good girl all year long. And Donald has been very good also. Yeah, how about that, Donald? Have you been good? Oh, I've been good more times than I've been bad, I think. Oh, you think... Oh, oh. So you think you'd perhaps rather skip the uh, being bad part, huh? Mm. Besides, I've been punished for being bad. Oh. And we've been sorry every time, though. You have. Well, then you have a point there. Now, go on, then. Okay, okay. Let's see. Um... Oh, so please, Santa, as long as we've all been so very good, we'd like to have you bring Donald a train. A real train. That run. Real? Well, how about the Super Chief? <laughs> ah. We like Jerry very much. Mm. But we think our sister Sharon should have a couple more boyfriends. That would make it more exciting. So please, Santa, bring her some? Bring her? Oh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you know. Boyfriends just don't grow in bunches, you know, like bananas. Now, wait just a minute here. Oh. Looks like the kids have been peeking into your dream, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> you mean about Jeff Logan, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, go ahead, kids. More? Okay. Yeah, there's more, Dad. All right. And please, Santa, bring our brother Chuck a car with hot rods. Yeah. Now, you've said something. <laughs> On a condition that he lets us ride in. <laughs> Mommy wants a new bed. The one she's got now has got lumps. Oh, just because you hid some of your old toys in the mattress. Yeah, that's oh, fine. Mommy. And we'd like to, you to bring uh, Daddy a checkbook. Uh, so we can write out some more money. A checkbook? Well, now that is something I'm going to need, believe me. No kidding. <laughs> we think that's all, Santa. Mm. Fine. Just very truly, Donna Ruggles. Mm. And Donald Ruggles. Well, now that's a very nice letter, kid. Yes. Mm. Wait a minute. Uh, I got a PC. A, a what? A PC? What's that? Please, Santa. Oh, no, you mean P.S. Oh, P.S. Please look around and see if you have anything left. And if you do, give it all to me more as lucky as we are. Uh, oh, we thank you. Oh, that's yeah. fine. That's very nice. Okay, now she Do you think Santa will like our letter, Mom? Well, he certainly will. That's a very fine letter. Sure it Can is. Can we go mail it? Yeah, you go mail it, but don't go wandering all around the block now. Run along. Yeah, You're okay. We okay. okay. We've right. got to be good until after Christmas. Oh, yeah. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Oh, okay. Hey, Dad. What, what? Where are we going to put the tree this year? The tree? Over by the window, I guess. Well, now, I'll tell you. I thought that perhaps about the tree, that maybe this year we, we wouldn't, wouldn't have, have a tree. tree. We wouldn't have... Oh, my golly. I say that every year, don't yeah, I? Right along about the Well, tree. all right. I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. And I hope it'll be the biggest and prettiest one on the block. <laughs> okay. Go okay. on, one play game of checkers, this? Oh, swell. Joe? Yes, dear. Do you realize 22 Christmases... We've had 22 Christmases. Oh, my gosh. Don't remind me of that, Mom. We still have our health. That's something to be thankful for. Yeah, yeah, it certainly is. certainly is. <clears throat> and almost everything else that we need. Uh-huh. Besides. Well, it has been a good year, honey. I'll say that for you. <laughs> uh-huh. I wish we could share our blessings. Oh, you mean you think we have more than, we, uh, more than enough? Well, you know, I mean, with... With somebody less fortunate than we are. Well, we always manage to do our bit, dear, you know, the community chest and any other charities that we can afford. Oh, no, no, dear, I don't mean that. I mean something more, more... Your mother, maybe, huh? Oh, we always take care of them. Oh, well, why don't we invite them over this Christmas? You know, they'll probably be alone. Darling, don't you remember I told you that Ernie is taking Mother to Denver for Christmas to spend it with his family? that's right, that's right, that's right. Well, we'll think of something now, Margaret. Don't worry. Ah, now watch this move. Really good at this time. One, two, three. Oh, no. Oh, no, get in. (laughs) Oh, I do wish I could think of somebody. Huh? Oh, talk about blinking his pop. Let me see who? Blinky in his pop. Blinky in his pop, huh? Now there's an idea, by golly. Hey, mm-hmm. I know of someone. Who, who? Elaine Schumann. Ela- Elaine Schumann. You remember, mm-hmm. she was in my graduating class. <clears throat> she has less than anybody I can think of. And she and her mother will probably be alone this year. Her father passed away, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we hardly know her, sis. 
Why don't we just ask Marianne? Oh, now, Chuck, dear, that isn't the idea at all. We want to give to somebody who, who really needs it. Well, Elaine needs it. What about it, Father? Well, I'll tell you, I'm not in favor of doing things on the spur of the moment, Sharon. Well, you said that we should share our good fortune with others. No, it was your mother who said that. Well, Father, don't you think... Ah, uh, no, of course, I still am in favor of it. Well, then why all the objections? Well, what I object to, dear, is that uh, waiting for the holidays to do something for someone that you should have done a long time ago. Oh, Father, for Pete's Well, now, sake. look here. You, you didn't go out of your way to be nice to this girl all during the year, did you? Father, I haven't seen her since I started at college. Mm. She hasn't been coming to any of our parties. Oh, I see. Well, did you ever stop to think that there might be a reason for that? Mm, what do you mean, Dad? Well, for in the first place, maybe she, uh, because if you say she was not so well off, maybe she couldn't afford to go to college. Well, I'm almost certain of and that. And by the same reason, she probably couldn't go to parties, you see, either. Uh, that, that, that's the same deal. Well, I, I know that. Maybe and she has to work. Been ill. Mm, yeah, you know that. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. That's just what I mean, Sharon. You know all that, and yet you didn't do anything about it until now. You know, kids, let me tell you something. All around us, every day, we see someone who needs help. But do we do anything about it? No. Instead, we wait until Christmas rolls around, by golly. And then we start buying gifts for each other and writing letters to Santa Claus and dropping a few pennies in the Salvation Army bucket. And for a few short days only, we have a feeling of peace and goodwill toward our fellow man. But, Charles, isn't that one of the main reasons for Christmas? I don't get what you mean, dear. Well, to remind us to do the things that we that we should do. Yes, Father, how about that? Well, now, why should we have to be reminded? <laughs> I just don't want our kids, dear, to grow up and think that they can do, uh, you know, neglect all their duties throughout the entire year and make up for it by one good deed at Christmas time. that's all. Mm -hmm. You've got something there, Dan. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we better forget about Elaine, then. No, I didn't say that, Sharon. I just wanted you to know how I feel. Well, isn't that the same thing? Uh, well, I'll leave it up to you. Pass that to Donna. Okay. And another one for Donald. Oh, Chuck. Pass that to Chuck. Thank you. Sharon, here's for you. Here's for you. Oh, Christmas cards, Christmas cards. I'd love to get Christmas cards. Yeah, you do, really. Christmas cards. And you know early, too, by golly. Because, you know, that's, uh, you know, it's, it's a good deal. Because then you can send to those that you may have forgotten. <laughs> What's the matter? Somebody sends you one with a feather in it? Huh? Listen to this. What? At Christmas time, don't send me money. Just let me touch your lips, my honey. Oh, no, no. Oh, now, who sent that? I don't know. It isn't fine. <laughs> you most probably. Or your friend, the coach. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Jerry <laughs> couldn't be that icky. Mm. I got one from Grandma. Oh, oh did you dare to read it? It says, Merry Christmas to Donna. I hope Santa brings you all you want. Oh, my golly. <laughs> we'll have to send Grandma one of those rhyming dictionaries, I think. Wait a minute. I got one from Grandma, too. Yeah. Happy you, Ty, little boy. Oh, Santa brings you many a toy. Oh, oh, Grandma. Oh, where oh, does Mother oh, get those cards? Very juvenile. Yeah. Doesn't she know we're grown up? Well, here's my little contribution. <laughs> when I picked out this little voice, I fades my dough and takes my choice. So happy Noel to all you jokes with a Merry Christmas and all the woiks. Oh, oh, Ben Milligan. Ben Milligan, how'd you know? Well, who else? Well, at least he didn't send back the card we sent him last year, by God. Uh, <laughs> we well, here's someone who did, Mrs. Yeah, Van Markham. Mrs. Van Markham did? Tis the season that follows the falls, so Merry Christmas to one and all. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Don't tell me we sent a card out like that, Margaret. Huh? Don't you remember? Yeah, well, yeah, I know, but it's so silly. Everybody knows that Christmas is in the winter and that winter is the season that follows the fall. And that, but oh, who picked that card out originally? You did, Father. You did. Well, no wonder she sent it back. Huh? <laughs> May we be excused? Huh? Have you finished? We want to go upstairs and have packages. Oh, all right. Well, run along, then. Run along, run along. Yeah, and, you know, wrap those packages good, too, you know, because... Thanks, Governor. Yes, sir. Governor? Where do you get that governor stuff? That's grown-up talk. Ah, run along oh. with you. Go on. <laughs> those kids are grown up too doggone fast, you know. Um, say, Father, would you like to go over to Elaine Schumann's with us? Well, that's what we decided on, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, both of us. Well, then, sure, sure, we'll go. Okay. But first, you know, I think if we've all finished, we ought to practice what I preached a little last night and help our mother with the breakfast dishes. Oh, 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 o
You're going to do the what, Chuck? You're going to do the scraping? Yeah, I'll scrape off that. Yes, let me put these in. Here's a nice pile for you. There you are, boy. Thank you, you know, Margaret, what you said last night sort of started me to thinking. I dreamt about it all night. I don't know. I... What, dear? Well, about that 22-year thing, you know. My gosh, it seems like yesterday that we had our first Christmas with Sharon, you know? It, well, it seems longer than that to me. Yeah. The older I get, the faster time flies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I hope the older you get, the wiser you get. <laughs> oh, I'm doing all right, Dad. And I found out you don't learn everything from books, either. No? Meaning what? Mary Ann. I learned about women from her. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Roger Kipling. <laughs> well, I hope you learned a little something to start. Oh, I'm doing all right, Mom, honest. Now, for instance, I have learned that if a guy really buckles down and, and, and applies himself, he can accomplish almost anything he wants to. Oh, well, oh, you mean you're you're thinking about that time that you were selected to be the judge of the court, are you? Well, that's one thing. Well, now, let me tell you, you earned that one, son. Yeah, but I was sure glad I had you to advise me. Yeah, well, that's what fathers are for, isn't it? Yeah, but... It took me 19 years before I learned never to underestimate the power of a father. Hey, oh, well, thank you, son. Yes. Well, don't be rubbing the flowers off of that thing, you know. Try another one, try another one. And you know, the same rule applies to a mother, too, by God. Oh, indubitably. Yes, sir. And speaking of mothers, now that we're throwing compliments around, Mother, we want to thank you. We have you to thank, you know, for being so nice to us and making all our lives worth living this past year, as always. Oh, well, now, dear, I didn't do anything different from the year before. Yeah, I said, as always. Uh -huh. <laughs> you want to go over to Lane Shewins with us, dear? Oh, dear, I just got so much to do. If you don't mind, I think I'll stay right here. Well, okay, okay, then. Chuck and Sharon and I will go. Oh, uh, Father. Huh? On, uh... On second thought, I uh, I don't think I'll go. Yeah. Huh? Why not? What's the deal? Well, frankly, I'm a little ashamed to face her. <laughs> Your idea? Well, I know, but like Father said, I shouldn't have ignored her. I, I should have taken the initiative and, and invited her over once in a while. Golly, with, with college and, and Jerry and everything, well, I, I just didn't have the time. And, and I... Well, you know how it is. That, my dear, is what is known in psychological circles as justification by rationalization. Yeah, I'd forget about that whole deal if I were you and finish up and come on, let's get going now. Huh? Oh, um, Elena, I'd like you to meet my father. Yeah, well, oh, how do you do, Mr. Rogers? How are you, Elena? I've been hearing a great deal about you oh, lately. Well, won't you come in? <laughs> well, thank, oh, thank you, you, thank you, we will. Thank you. I'm just finishing my holiday decorating. Oh? It's the first chance I've had. The babies have been keeping me so busy. Yeah, the babies? At the nursery. Oh? A lot of the mothers in this neighborhood work at night, so uh, I help take care of their children. Oh? Well, I imagine the extra money comes in handy, eh, Elaine? Oh, we don't get paid. It's purely voluntary. Oh, well, may I take your things? Well, I'm afraid we can't stay too long. I, oh, uh... your place is just beautiful. Mm. So, so sort of uh, clean and cozy. Oh, are you surprised? Oh, well, I, I, uh, that is... <laughs> it's not what you expected, is that it? Uh, well, well, no. You see, I... Uh, well... <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know why. Uh, well, uh, Chuck didn't mean it the way it sounded. Either. No, he just opens up his mouth and you never know. That's right. That's I'm right. sorry. You uh, needn't be. I understand. Uh, come and see my gallery. Uh, yeah? And my little Bethany. Him. Well, well, well. Isn't it beautiful? Well, my goodness, look at that. that isn't that wonderful? That is really like something, Kelly. isn't it, huh? <laughs> Say, I'll bet that really cost a lot. Oh, no. My father made these for me when I was a little girl. Oh? He carved all the figures out of wood with his penknife. Yes, that's And so. then Mother and all of us painted it together. They're yeah. amazing. Why, I mean, the detail is remarkable, isn't it? Look at that thing oh, in there. Mama. I remember when he carved this wise man. Hmm? He told me the story of Jesus. Oh, when he was carving this, he told you the story of... Well, you and your father must have been very, very close, hmm? Oh, we were. Hmm. He was terribly sentimental. He believed that happiness could cure anything. Oh, well, maybe he was right, by golly. He was full of all those corny old platitudes, 
smile and the world smiles with you. There's always a silver lining and prosperity is just around the corner. Mm. Why, he believed them all. Oh, yeah. Well, how about you? Do you believe them? I think I do, but sometimes I get a little impatient. Well, don't we all? You know, life is very unpredictable, really. <laughs> Father always used to say that life was an everlasting struggle to keep the money coming in and his hair from falling out. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's a page out of my book. I'm losing mine any day now, I tell you. <laughs> hey, you know something? What? I'll bet the twins would really get a kick out of these. Yeah, yeah they oh, well, would. Why don't you bring they, huh? them over? <clears throat> oh, my goodness. I forgot to ask you to sit down. Well, I was wondering <laughs> if you would ask us. Well, sure. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. I... <clears throat> yeah. Um, Elaine. Yes? Um, I suppose you're wondering why we came over. Well, frankly, I am surprised. Well, um... Uh, as you know, we, we never palled around much in high school together, and, uh... uh let's, uh, get to the point, shall we, uh... uh oh, look, Elaine, it being the holiday season, we all got to thinking about how lucky we are, and... And how we have everything that we could ever ask for. And how we'd like to share our happiness with someone, well, someone who was less fortunate? Um, well, yes. And you thought I might know of someone. Well, uh... Oh, I do. There are lots of people in this neighborhood. Why, there's the Harringtons, and, uh, Mrs. Greenlee, and Mrs. Joyce. Why, her three children have all been sick. And, uh, then there's Mr. Hillman. Oh, there are lots of people. Uh, but, Elaine, you don't understand. You see, what we meant was that... Uh, uh, uh what the Chuck meant uh, was, uh, that's exactly what we mean, Elaine. Yes, you see, uh, last night we talked over the idea of helping someone less fortunate than ourselves this year. And Chuck and Sharon suggested they come to you. Uh, they said that you knew a lot of people who needed help. So if you'll give us the uh, names and the addresses of those people, we'll probably see what we can do tomorrow. Hmm? Uh, how about it, Sharon? Chuck, isn't that what we came for? Yeah, sure, that, that's right. Oh, yes, it's well. Oh, they'll be very grateful, I know. <laughs> Mother and I do what we can, but it's never enough. And, well, Mother's in San Diego now, working over the holidays. Well, then you're alone until after New Year. Well, then we could spend the night together, you know, the whole evening. How about it, Dad? Oh. Yeah, I maybe mean, we could have dinner. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. I'll tell you what, I've got plenty in the icebox, and I'd love to have you stay. But, Elaine, you don't understand. You see, and we And Donna were... and Donna will have a chance to see my gallery. Well, they'd be thrilled, Elaine, believe me. How about it, Mr. Ruggles? Uh, well, that's very nice of you, Elaine, but, uh... You could go home and get Mrs. Ruggles and the twins, and in the meantime, I could start getting things ready. Uh, well, I, I tell you, I'll make a deal with you. A deal? I think Mrs. Ruggles has the dinner already prepared. In fact, she, she probably has it all fixed up and ready to put it in the oven, you know. So, But I'll tell you, uh, supposing you leave what you have in the icebox, and I'll get Mrs. Ruggles and the twins and the dinner, and we'll bring it over here. But I could just as now, well... Now, that is my ultimatum. Either you take us, or you take us and don't take us, or you do and you don't, or, and take the dinner together. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Ruggles, you win. <laughs> all right, that's a deal, that's a deal. Come on, Chuck, we're going to need a little hand here. And Sharon, you can stay with Elaine, you know, in case she needs some help. All right, guys. Okay. <laughs> Hold on to your appetite, girls. We'll be back in a flash with a hat. Yeah, good. Uh, my son. We thank thee, O Lord, for the bountiful meal of which we have partaken. We thank thee for thy guidance and protection and for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. Grant us continued health and happiness. Bless our country that it may be a stronghold of peace and goodwill among men, thy most precious gift. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and brotherhood between all the peoples of the earth, and may thy name hallow every home and every heart. Amen. Amen. May we please leave the table, Daddy? Huh? Yeah, we oh. want to see the manger. Oh, you the do? The wise men and all the other things. Oh, well, all right, all right, but be careful, please. Yes, I'll watch out. Don't we break can't. anything. We won't. We won't. My golly, up and down, up and down. I don't know whether we have twins or your animated pile drivers, Elaine, you know? <laughs> well, all I can say is that was a wonderful dinner, and that roast was simply scrumptious. Aren't you forgetting who cooked it, Mr. Huh? Ruggles? Credit where credit is due. Yeah, all right, so I'll give you credit. It was out of this world. It is now, anyhow. But somehow or other, I don't know, I think maybe... Uh, well, uh, the atmosphere of this home seemed to make it taste even better. Yes, you're right. It's the Christmas spirit 
The house has nothing to do with oh, it. Oh, oh, well, oh. Shall we go into my uh, parlor? Yes. How about clearing away the table? Oh, we can do those later. I hate dishes. Okay. Okay. Don't stop. That was beautiful. Please go on. I'm unconscious. <laughs> oh, self-conscious. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime you kids are self-conscious, believe me. I'll tell you what we do. Suppose we all sing this together, huh? Oh, oh, let's do it. Now we all get it together. We all set now? Already. Ready? Oh, Well, my golly, a voice like that's not going to hang around loose. You know what I'm going to do, Margaret? Yeah. I'm going to see Joe Connolly of the Connolly Recording Company and ask him if he won't listen to Elaine's voice. Would you mind if I did that? Oh, Would you sing I, for him? I just love it. Well, you're a natural, Elaine. Oh, sure. yes. oh, Mr. Ruggles, you're uh, very kind. Oh, well, not. Why have you been hiding a voice like that under a bushel? Uh -huh. I haven't hidden it. I love to sing, but it's just that I've been too busy to do anything with it. Oh, oh Elaine, you must. Thing. Oh, my, my, what surprises we've had this evening. Haven't we, really? Yeah. <laughs> Full of surprises, I'll oh. say. Yes, sir. And by golly, not only surprises, but a lesson. A lesson for all of us. A lesson the Ruggles and all of us and every other family can profit by. You know, happiness is within oneself. It isn't uh, what we have or how much we have that counts. It's how much of what we have that we enjoy. You have that gift, Elaine. The gift of enjoying what you have. And of giving it to others. You're a very lucky girl. And much richer than most of us. Well, look at me making a little holiday speech here. <laughs> Well, now that I have, how's about giving us a little encore, will you, Elaine? Oh, please, oh, please. Huh? please do. What should I sing? Oh, well, now, sing what you like. Sing your face. Well, uh, let me look in my book. Oh, I know. This is my favorite, and I'm sure it's yours. 